good if we can let me know if we're all in your shot or if we're, everything, everything's good? Yeah. Are you guys part? Fresh battery. Oh, yeah. Is it green? No, Murphy's Law. Yeah. Yeah. I'm one of Murphy's partners. Oh, yeah. But I don't get the benefits. All right, I think we're ready to begin. Yes. Uh, thank you all for coming. My name is Hassan Shibley. I'm the Executive Director of CARE Florida uh, and the Elite Attorney for CARE, for CARE Florida. My name is spelled H-A-S-S-A-N-S-H-I-B-L-Y. Uh, I'm here today with uh, various interfaith and community leaders to object to Senate Bill 1360, uh, which is an unconstitutional, un-American assault on the religious freedom of uh, uh, American uh, American citizens and, and the American community. Uh, within 24 hours, the Florida legislature passed a bill to allow students to lead schools in, uh, in schools on a school-wide basis, yet they also passed another bill to attack the religious freedom of American Muslims. With so many real challenges facing our community, we cannot waste precious resources to demonize and attack each other and try to solve non-existent problems. Senate Bill 1360 has been celebrated by its supporters uh, as a step towards demonizing Islam and attacking American Muslims and marginalizing American Muslims. The bill effectively prohibits Jewish Americans and Muslim Americans from practicing all the tenets of their faith or referring disputes to a religious arbitrator. The bill threatens the religious freedom of all Americans. The legislation has been opposed by the Florida Bar Association's Family Law Section and the Jewish community, as well as various interfaith leaders, as you see here today. Larry Metz, the bill's sponsor, has openly admitted that this bill is intended to oppose the Islamic code and the Islamic way of life. And that's just really repulsive. It's un-American that uh, somebody who's promoting legislation is promoting legislation with the intention of opposing any religion. You know, religious freedom is protected by the Bill of Rights, and thus his actions are un-American and, again, unconstitutional. At best, this legislation is nothing more than a remedy in search of a problem. As the world takes a step forward, in, in struggling for civil rights, this legislation is a step backwards. Representative Metz could not come up with one example of how this legislation could have solved any real problems in Florida. The legislation is un-American and unconstitutional because it clearly inhibits the freedom of exercise of religion on a personal level. In fact, it is so troubling that the Senate would not open up uh, this bill for debate on the floor. Within three minutes they passed it. Over 50 uh, witnesses came to testify against the bill. Representatives from the Muslim and Jewish and Christian communities came to oppose this bill and they wouldn't even be heard. This undemocratic method used to advance the bill without opening the floor for debate uh, shows that the bill's supporters uh, understand that, the, uh, that it will not survive public scrutiny. And I guess what is more outrageous is the sponsor of the bill, Senator Alan Hayes, distributed anti-Muslim literature on the Senate floor this week. This is one of the many pieces of anti-Muslim literature which was distributed on the Senate floor this week. And that is just shameful. The acts of the bill's authors and sponsors are clearly an un-American and unconstitutional assault on Islam and American Muslims. It undermines the constitutional protections of our First Amendment. We cannot allow representatives to hijack the legislature to promote their bigoted religious agenda and use their office to attack the religious freedom of Jews and Muslims in particular. The Tenth Circuit has already ruled that a similar bill passed in Oklahoma is unconstitutional. So today we're here to ask that the senators in Florida, uh, we are here to ask them to vote in favor of the Constitution and against this unconstitutional bill. There is no reason that our legislators should legitimize legislation written by people who have a history of having an anti-black, anti-Jewish, anti-woman, and anti-Muslim agenda. The author of this model legislation, David Yoshami, has the moral equivalency of the Ku Klux Klan. He's attempting a philosophical rebirth of apartheid and has written, adherent, has written that adherence to the Islamic faith should be punishable by a 20-year uh, jail term. So why are we letting a legislation written by anti-Muslim bigots be legitimized in our Florida Senate? Uh, and in closing, I just want to you know, bring up the points that why do our legislators want to get involved in people's personal religious choices? Why are our tax dollars being 
used to support legislation that fixes a problem that simply doesn't exist. This is simply political pandering, it's unnecessary, and frankly our legislators have better things to do. They have real problems that they should be solving instead of promoting legislation as an attack on a religious minority here in America. It's un-American. Many of us uh, in, the, in the American Muslim immigrant community in particular came to America because we can practice our religion freely. And now we're seeing again that our legislators are trying to ban a particular faith and that's, that really breaks our heart as American Muslims. If we're not going to be free in America, where else are we going to be free? Thank you. Next is uh, Bishop, uh, Reverend uh, Mayor. Good morning. My name is uh, Russell Meyer. I'm the executive director of the Florida Council of Churches, which is the forum for the historic Protestant churches in Florida to collaborate on witness and advocacy. My name is spelled R-U-S-S-E-L-L-M-E-Y-E-R. -E -E I'm a, an ordained minister of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America and have been in the ministry for almost 30 years. Attack on any religion is attack on all religion. This is a fundamental principle on which this government was founded. In fact, in 1797, in the Treaty of Tripoli, it says, the American government is not founded on any religion. It said that because the founders understood that freedom of conscience was going to be at the center of this country and that the non-establishment of religion was vitally important for the freedom of conscience. That same treaty goes on to say that the American government has no enmity whatsoever with Muslims. 1797. There are people who talk about trying to preserve uh, their American way of life and American culture. But they only remember America from their own limited experiences. And the fact is that Muslims have been in the United States of America since before its beginning. One third of all Africans brought over here in slavery were Muslims. Other people who immigrated to this country early in its beginning were Muslims. The fact that most Americans don't know that history is not reason and cause to now suddenly, out of fear, misunderstanding, and hate, shun what is uh, important for Muslims. So uh, as a representative of the Christian community, I rise today in support of uh, Muslims in the United States. Just as I know, in the past, they have risen to support Christians who were under attack. We have to understand that in this country, we enjoy this very important um, foundation of civil society that says freedom of conscience and non-establishment. And this law works toward the establishment of a certain religious perspective over and against other religious perspectives. It's just simply un-American on its face. And we call upon the Senate to understand what makes this country great, and that is freedom of religious expression without the government in any way trying to tell you how to do that. And that's exactly what this law tries to do. It tries to say you can practice religion in some ways, but not other ways, when those other ways are not a danger or harm to anybody else. Florida has some real economic problems, and they're not being addressed. And the reason they're not being addressed is because people want to protect their powerful moneyed interests. And they th throw out these kinds of uh, legislative bills in order to distract us from what really needs to be done. Florida needs real tax reform. We have the money to address the issues in this state. We're just not fairly taxing all of the people and all of the businesses in this state so we can run it well. People are hurting. And this increases the hurt. 
So we call upon the Senate today to do the right thing, reject this hate legislation, and make no mistake about it, it is hate. The Bible, uh, the New Testament, speaks about love in very concrete ways. It says, if your neighbor needs a cup of water and you give it to them, that's love. And just the opposite of that are, applies. If your neighbor needs a cup of water and you don't give it to them, that is hate. Whenever the state acts to take away what other people need, that is hate from a biblical definition. So we call upon the Florida legislature to put aside these ways of hate and to pick up the ways of love and do what is needed for the well-being of all of us. Thank you for your time and your attention. Good afternoon. My name is Leila Abdel Aziz. I am the Central Florida Field Coordinator for Emerge USA. Emerge USA is a civic advocacy nonprofit, nonpartisan organization that aims to engage Muslim, Arab, and South Asian American communities within the state of Florida. My name is spelled L A I L A, and my last name. And my last name is spelled A-B-D-E-L-A-Z-I-Z. -E Today I'm here um, representing Emerge USA and, and our supporters. Emerge USA is deeply concerned about the message that Senate Bill 1360 sends to all Floridians. In the analysis presented to the committee when reviewing Senate Bill 1360, it was stated that one of the greatest threats to American values and liberties today comes from abroad, including foreign laws and foreign legal doctrines which have been infiltrating our court system at the municipal, state, and federal levels. Emerge USA rejects this statement that was sent to review in terms of the Senate Bill 1360. And we would like to remind our Florida legislators that Senate Bill 1360 is an unnecessary action as state and U.S. constitutions clearly and firmly prohibit the use of both foreign and religious laws in the court systems. We stand strong in opposition to Senate Bill 1360 and any and all incendiary rhetoric directed towards Florida's Muslim, Christian, and Jewish communities. Both Islamic and Jewish religious traditions uphold the religious and uphold the belief and ruling that the law of the land overrides the law of the religious tradition. Religious faiths do not threaten American values and liberties. The message that Senate Bill 1360 sends is intended to not only marginalize and target Florida's Muslim community, but Senate Bill 1360 creates an unwelcome environment for these communities to engage in our state's civic process, further disengaging them from their commitment to their civic duties here in our own state. Emerge USA and our supporters would like to remind all of our senators to vote against Senate Bill 1360. Thank you. Hello, uh, I'm Bishop Chuck Lee, a Bishop of the Apostolic Catholic Church. I'm President of Heart of Council Churches, which uh, Reverend Meyer here represents quite ably. Uh, I'm a board member of the National Council of Churches. Uh, so I think between myself and Rover Jackson, uh, we, members at least, of the leadership of all the councils of churches that are involved in Florida are here, and I think we're together to oppose this thing. This law at first appears just nothing but a silly thing, but I think it can be much more sinister, because it's the beginning 